Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl. Got these cute little knitted sock earrings on. Tangent. So, in this video I'm going to show you some new scrapbook papers I've picked up to make a cover for my Monster Flex. Let me go get that real quick. Hang on. Okay, so as you know, with my Monster Flex, my co-worker who has a fuse tool put this lovely plastic pocket on it, on the front, so that I can remove, which I'm trying to do right now, I can remove and change out the cover whenever I want. Um, this is this uh, blue and purple leopard print, that's a duct tape sheet and that cannot come off. I, back before I used this actually as a planner when it was just a storage binder for extra mini flex accoutrement if you will, uh, and this thing was full, I just put a duct tape sheet on it. But now I can change out the paper and because it's January and I live in Florida and we are just coming off a week, the coldest week that we have had in eight years. Seriously, it's Sunday, January 7th. And it's finally going to get up into the 60s. For those of you that live where it snows, yeah, I don't want to hear it. I really don't because I've lived in Florida my whole life. I don't like the cold. Like seriously, I'm, I'm thinking about moving farther south. I can't deal with this. This entire week, the highest it got, the, hot, the warmest, quote unquote, it got was in the mid 50s. No! No. No. Okay. Anyways. So because January is always blah to me, I found, I showed this on another video. This is the winter uh, real tree camo uh, scrapbook paper and I just cut it down to fit there. So I bought some new scrapbook paper. And some of this is from December when I went to the Big Joann's in Brandon. And then some, I decided to, I, I'm gonna film a Target, Michaels, and Dollar Tree haul in a minute. Oh, that's my next video because, yeah. Uh, but I decided to do all my scrapbook paper in one. And actually, I'm gonna put this over there for the next video because it's not scrapbook paper. Okay, so. As I was setting up and getting ready, you know, to show show you guys everything. I'm going to show you the December stuff first and then the stuff I bought yesterday. I had forgotten that I had already bought a specific type of scrapbook paper. So, and I'll point it out uh, when I get there, but... I mean, I just find it funny that I, I now have two of these because, yeah. Anyways, okay, so the first one that I'm going to show you is this lovely, it's, um, it is glittery, if you can see the shimmer, and it's another cheetah pattern, and it, this is the little sheet, um, this is the 8.5 by 11 sheet, standard scrapbook paper comes in 12 by 12. And the measurements for this pocket are four and three quarters across and eight and a half down. So I actually have less waste with the smaller sheets. I really do. I can actually cut this in half. I'll cut it this way. That way I only have to trim a little bit. But that's the first one. I gotta be careful not to get too much glitter on this couch. The second one, and some of it's a little bent because it's been sitting on my desk. Isn't that pretty? I don't even know what it, what the, um, okay. They apparently do have titles. This is a multi-marble scene. Which one was this one? Blue Leopard. Blue Leopard multi-marble but I might turn it that way 
I think I'll turn it that way. So that one's pretty. In Florida, coming up, we have strawberry season. In February is when we have our strawberry festival. So lovely, yummy strawberries. I love strawberries. I used to eat strawberries so much as a kid, my parents swore up and down I was going to like make myself allergic to them. Nope. Uh, I'll save that one for last. This one was pretty cool. How did they scan this one? Oh, there it is. It's books and notebooks and all that stuff and it's wonderful. I'm trying to find what it's actually called that way if you want to look it up it's the American Crafts brand and that's the number of it so that is just really cool I am a librarian so I like that um, I do have some uh, holiday themed ones if you saw my Christmas ones um, I try kind of to stay away from holidays because I like I mean granted the whole purpose excuse me of having this pocket is so I, I can change the cover out whenever I wanted right so why shouldn't I have scrap of paper for all the holidays right well I found this one which way up which is the way up it's bats and it's on purple I love it because I'm like batty and all that so I love this. I found another Christmas one that I absolutely adore. So I, I really like that one. Uh, gingerbread houses are still the main Christmas. Um, when I think of Christmas, I think of gingerbread houses. So um, if I find that sheet again, because I cut it just a little sh too short, um, I'm going to recut it and... Um, do some uh, fun or make a new cover and then with all the off cuts I have a friend whose mom was into scrapbooking and she now has all of her mom's scrapbooking stuff and her mom actually has a bunch of paper cut dies and everything so I'm going to ask her if I can borrow some of them and so all these off cuts I'm going to punch you know random shapes out of even just little squares and circles and I'm going to use the wonderful, nice, big, and I think it's a circuit. I'm not too, I don't remember, and I'm probably going to get yelled at for this. Um, my wonderful husband bought me a sticker making machine for our anniversary. Um, not this past anniversary, but the anniversary before. And I haven't used it yet. Bad wife. Um, but it's the big one, so I want to make sure I have enough little stuff to turn into stickers because if I'm gonna bust out the big machine I want to have a ton of stuff so I've been slowly acquiring all the stuff and all the little ephemera and um, we'll come back to that hang on actually pause okay so this video is like all over the place today but one of the other ways I get like little cute little stickery things to put in my planner are, this is just a calendar. This is, my mom got this calendar for free in the uh, mail. We already have a calendar for 2018, but what I typically do with calendars from years past is I'll take the, the little images off the back and I'll cut them out. And I literally have, you know those big like scrapping paper, scrapping, scrapbook paper storage boxes you know the big the ones you can get at Michaels and Joann's um I have one of those that just has all these little cut thingies that I need to turn into stickers I need to get on this so that's how I um, acquire uh, little things to make into stickers or like depending on what I cut out of this, you know, where I decide to do, to make my cover. Um, if I've got an entire line that's completely, uh, that's intact, I'll just cut that whole line. And if I can make it a strip in the sticker maker, like I said, I haven't used this thing yet because I'm a horrible wife. 
DIY washi and that and I decorate my planner with that I think that whatever the next journal is that um, that I do or maybe that'll be another video I'll show you guys how I pre-decorate some of my journal pages with washi tape and stickers and how I just write around them so I'll do that okay this is a sheet of scrapbook paper that I had years ago and I haven't I couldn't find it at my Joann's uh, for like a few years I found it at the big Joann's in December it's this is the fall one that I oh, there's just something about this one I love it so what is it called oh it's a Mambi one because it says me and my big ideas awesome uh, do, 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 do. Nope, there's no actual um, title of it, but I love this one, and I can't wait to make that one into a fall one. So I've got one more for my December scrapbook haul, and it's also the one that's the duplicate. But I'm not going to complain about having duplicates of this one, because it's the copper it's the metallic copper and you guys know you know I love copper and rose gold this just screams fall to me and now that I have two of them um I bought some stickers that are going to be in my target haul video and I think because they're not like white back they're like clear stickers I think I might put some I'll make two covers I'm going to do just a plain plain copper and then I'll do another one where um, and I'll put some stickers on it yeah yeah I'm excited okay so I didn't buy much in the way of scrapbook paper yesterday at Michael's um, <laughs> the bag that is over here I dumped it out when um, I got home and my husband just shook his head I think he knows better. So anyways, some of the uh, other ones I got. This postcard one. I figured this would be nice. You know, like, every once, I like the antique postcard ones and, like, if we travel and stuff. So we're going to do some traveling this year and I may or may not take this thing with me. The B6 one is a better traveler, to be honest. Um, so there's that one. And this one, this, this one, I bought honestly with the intention of maybe making it into a cover. But I'm also thinking that, oh, not wonderful. Because I don't really want to lose any of this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Part of me just really just wants to cut this part out. And if I do that, will that fit? No, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I've got a clear pocket that I made. If you go to the Flex Binder playlist, I show how to do a customized like little clear plastic pocket. Um, and I'm going to use that kind of sort of as a template because it's A, it's clear, and B, um, I don't know. I don't know why I said A. Mainly, I'm going to use it as a template because it's clear and I'll be able to do, like, kind of see how I can position some things. And the last two I got are um, their little sheets. I got one in chartreuse green because I am Tinkerbell. I just love this and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's a nice, bright, solid color. And then I found this lovely blue. Now, I got plans for this one. It's gonna, since you guys know that fall is my favorite time of year. And if you don't know that by now, then you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I don't just mean this video. Um, I've got some, they're the metallic fall leaf stickers. They're kind of similar to the ones that are on this sheet. You get them for like 97 cents at Walmart. You can buy them at Michael's, but they're like $2.99. Go buy them at Walmart. I got other stickers too. 
<laughs> um, but I'm thinking about putting those because it's just the leaf. There's um, no extra backing to it on this once I cut it down for a cover. So I am very excited. And <laughs> I do think this is like ridiculous. <laughs> I do. Um, one day, ooh, idea. Those are eight and a half by five and a half pocket protector would fit those. I can make an album. Ooh. I probably need to stop talking. <laughs> all right, so all of my lovely scrapbook paper pages that I am very happy to have. I'll probably spend the afternoon cutting them down so that they're ready to go and I'll store the bits and bobs and off cuts in their, uh... where did I pick up bits and bits and bobs from? I have no idea. Um, squirrel brain. Um, in their uh, little storage box. And if you guys would like to see the little off cuts and ephemera and um, all the little thingies like this that I've cut out over the years and plan on making into stickers, let me know because I'm perfectly willing to do a, a countertop video and just sliding them. I was doing this down below like as though you could see what I was doing. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's an idea. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know and have a nice day. Bye.